you've been familiar with this game for a little bit. You came uh, to our studio, got some YouTube Never. footage. What are you talking about? Oh, Never was I not supposed to game? talk about that? No, that's like low key. So dude. we have like some cool stuff that we can do. So we can like actually like you know make it daytime. Oh my god, like, you hacker! Look at like this, you're hacking on like the that. stream. I know, you know. Where can on, I buy these like, hacks? Um, my PayPal. Just donate direct to me. Adam Crunch at Adam Crunch SOELive at SOELive .com. So let's you can play with a little weather a little bit. This uh, is cool. awesome, right? Yeah. Can you spawn some shit in? Um, I can if I really want to. I can actually spawn in an a airdrop. Bazooka. I can't spawn a bazooka. You got the airdrops working? We got the airdrops. Let's see the airdrop. I haven't seen the you airdrop seen yet. Them yet? Not right. since Vegas. All right, let's do that. Well, I didn't get to see it at Vegas because remember you guys were trying to push the build and the blah blah whatever. All it right, didn't work. We'll do that. So you came to the studio. Got some footage on your channel. I have no idea what you're talking about. What channel is that? I don't know what it is. Reno Crunk. Reno Crunk. Yeah, at it's YouTube. a it's a MySpace channel actually. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know why you guys have me here. MySpace <laughs> is a terrible platform to socialize, market your game, but I'm here, so. You were at SOE Live. I was at SOE Live. And you got to play the game there. Yes, and I had a blast because while everybody else was sleeping in the morning. I was training my, this mic is dangerously close to my nose, <laughs> I was training my bow skills so that when they woke up and they're all ready to play, I had already become a master marksman. Nice. So, yeah. Well. Where is the airdrop? I, I haven't seen it. Well, it's here. coming in. It's, I, uh, I spawned it. So it, it actually, the way it works is it goes into a queue and technically it takes 20 seconds to go into queue and then once it's in the queue, it waits until your air drops up. But since you're the only one that called it in, it should come shortly. Hopefully. Uh, you just found a backpack. That's pretty awesome. Last time I played, there was a lot of uh, weapon cleaning kits everywhere. There's a zombie. There you go. So you know you know about the combo system. If you hit him, no right, combo. If, you guys added a lot. If you hit him right when you attack, it'll combo, and you can hit him again. You have to kind of like time it a little bit. Or That's right. I'm scared. It's okay. I don't want to. I don't want to be too try hard with it. I just want to live. <laughs> Combo system. Look up in the air. See if it's. It should be. No. There it is. What the hell is that? That's the airdrop. So you missed the plane. The plane actually probably flew by. We oh don't my have the, god. We don't have the audio on the plane on this build. But uh, there's the airdrop. It's gonna come down and it's gonna give you a nice little surprise. A bomb? Is it going to blow me up at him? Is that the surprise? I may have dropped a bomb on An you. An IED? Nice. Yes. All right. Let's go get this bad boy. Yeah, I didn't get to see this at the uh, SOE Live. You didn't have this ready. No, so. yeah. It's, it's, uh, we've been able to show it off. It's pretty cool here. Um, we're able to, like, we're messing around with airdrops right now of what we can do with them. And we can actually do a lot. We can sp we can airdrop pretty much anything we want. So now it's up to us, the developers, to figure out like what's the best place for it in the game. Uh, what should people be able to get from an airdrop? Things like that. Uh, but right now we're just kind of having fun with it, showing it off. Awesome. Um, as that deer tries to run away from you. Oh, that looks like that? a. Ve that's not a vehicle. Maybe it is. You guys added freaking vehicles? Seriously? You knew we had vehicles. No, I knew you had them on your own internal build. I didn't know that you were actually showcasing them, though. That's awesome. Dude, I, I got to come down there and play this game <laughs> and drive <laughs> one of these bad boys for YouTube. All right, check this out. Nice. So obviously this would be super oh OP. Oh, my God. In a game. But we're oh just messing around God, with it. Oh, my God, a fucking vehicle. You know how long I've waited to get into a vehicle in a survival game? <laughs> um, well... There, right now it's in a perfect state, but if the if you would find a vehicle naturally, it would not be in this perfect condition. All as, right, there he goes. As it just goes away. Um, it would probably <laughs> okay, be in a so broken state. If you press state. E, it, you jump out. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> It'd probably be in a broken state. You'd probably have to repair it, find a battery for it, repair the tires, things like that. Let's try this again without the fail. It drives through water. It drives through water. Epic. This is awesome, man. Oh my god. Can I hit the deer? Yes. Oh, yes, I can. Deer rack. Oh, God. Wow, you are. Yeah, boy. I think. Goddamn off road. That's underneath the world. Okay. Yeah. You blew up. Adam. You, you can't. What kind of you can't black go, magic Jeep did you give me? You can't flip it and drive it and not expect to blow up, man. God. I'm sorry. That's can just, we get another one? Works. <laughs> can we get another I one? I didn't see the airdrop, so okay, I, I'm sure. We'll get chat, another one. chat, come on. We'll you guys want to see the we'll airdrop. We'll get another one. All right. 
So don't be stingy with the airdrops. I won't, I won't. You guys are trying to show me this. So how am I gonna? <laughs> Gosh, not gonna give me another airdrop. Let's see where this is. I'm gonna go try to get some more loot here. I love all the people in chat that are like, basically you're gonna pay for a car and then you get it. Come on, guys. We know we're well, not gonna just let you buy a car right off the bat. Are you gonna be able to purchase airdrops? Is it what, what's what, what's the problem, Chad? We're trying to figure out how to use airdrops the most efficient way. But like I said, we're just testing out all the things that we can do with them. And so one of them that one of the designers made is an airdrop for a Jeep, which when we're just showing them off is fun to do. Yeah. But we can do whatever we want with them. Honestly, the game's not out, so. So there's it's still a lot of room of, to part grow. Of the, yeah, all part of the testing phase. See, I just I don't want to I don't want to do anything with you, sir. Step back, step back. I'm not interested in what you're selling. Just oh my god. Okay, where's all the right. airdrop? Turn. I you see. gotta look up. You go back to where it because it comes it, in within a 250 meter radius from oh, okay. where you spawned it or where it was requested. Um, and it comes from the furthest point away on the map, so the whole server kind of sees it come in. Oh, wow. So if you spawn it from over there, it might fly in. It's also pretty foggy out. We should be able to see it shortly. All right, I will try not to go ADD. There it is. Oh, there it is. So there it was. There's the airdrop. And it's going to be loud, I'm sure, too. Like, you're going to be able to hear yeah, the propellers. Yeah, you're going to be able to hear, hear it. Let's go get this Jeep. That's awesome. Have you added any additional craft, not crafting stuff, but building supplies, building materials? Um, we've act actually been always adding tons of recipes. One of the new recipes that we just added was um, a shovel that you can use to dig up part of the dirt and use it as a ground mound so you can hide things in the ground. Nice. So basically you get this nice little ground mound and you can use it as a container that in the world to okay. hide things. Um, but other players could also find them and loot them as well. Okay. So one of, one of the questions that I had is you guys are not going to do freeform building, right? Or you are? You're still talking about it? Or is, it, is there it's anything? It's sort of. It, well, so you can build a platform, uh, a foundation, and you can lay the foundation, and you can kind of freeform build on top of that. Yeah. Um, but it's well, not going to be uh, like you can't do things that are like 10 stories high. You know, um, it's right now we're limited to one to two stories. Can they mess this thing up? No. Not right. Yeah, not currently. Oh, you just ran him over. He nice. did. There's blood all over the. Okay, we the can't ground. blow this up. We have to drive carefully, not recklessly. Um. Okay, you need to stop flipping the car. <laughs> what? You. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a realist, do it's a realistic sim, man. That is just drive not. It, oh drive it off a cliff. Screw the Jeep. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I barely even flipped it over. All right. How about we change the pace and you just chop down a tree real fast? Okay. Did you change something with trees? No. I just, you know, figured you might want to get some wood logs. Use it to craft a little bit. Oh, yeah. You don't want to punch the tree, though. It's been a while. It's been two weeks since I played this game, so. Go to third person. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No, there's another player. No, player. Player. Hello. <laughs> I wait. Hello. Hello, These are sir. people at PAX right now, so. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't. I'm friendly. Uh-oh. Oh, he just brought out his axe. Push F3 to put your Oh, no, no, out. no. He wants oh. He wants a little bite of this, I think. I don't know. No, 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 no. no. Do you want a bite? Friendly. Hey. This is the friendly thing. He's friendly. Look, he doesn't know how to do it. He doesn't know how to do it. PAX test. What's up, dude? Oh, he's friendly. He knows how to do it. He's what friendly. up? How you doing, hey girl? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Step back, dude. Step the fuck back. <laughs> well, he's friendly. Okay. I, is there a voice in this? Well, he can hear you. He's right there. Oh, he's right over there. Oh, I see him. Oh, you I see, him? see him? Yeah. Hey. Hello. Hi. I see you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, so no longer friends. We're no longer friends. Friends no more. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh no. my gosh. Oh. Get oh my wrecked. god! You got him. Get wrecked. And you're at zero, like less than one percent health. You're at like basic. You're basically dead. I am a professional axe murderer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to get a bandage. First of all, let's you need get a like bandage. This. You need a bandage. Up. I'm gonna rip my shirt off. Get some 
Strut it up. There you go. Now it's been crafting. a while. Yeah, I, I, got I got it. it. Perfect. I can do it. Boom. That's awesome. it. Awesome. Boom. And then use. Nice. Too funny. That was awesome. Dude, don't flip me off. Come on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Security. Security. We got a, this guy over here. 15%. 30%. So how much does it heal up? It's slow, he, slow I think overtime? each one does 15%. Uh, okay. So it might we be need some more t-shirts. It might be 10%. Uh, they get we the, the designers tuning the numbers constantly. It's hard to keep track of everything sometimes. But uh, last I remember, it might have been 10 or either 15%. I know that there's a first aid kit that does 100%. Those are very hard to find. What's going on in here? Did you design this, by the way? Did you I design this? I actually built this. Building? Yes. That's cool. So what's the, what's the plans for the boxes here? Um, so, the large crates, um, I think, should be destroyed. Or maybe not those crates. The other crates can be destroyed. Um, that's a sheet of metal. So these can be yeah, destroyed. Yeah, they can be destroyed. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna have stuff that spawns inside of there. So you can come in and kind of blow up these crates, and maybe you can find something. Okay. Uh, I don't think currently they have anything tied to them on this build, but oh, hey, dear. There but there be. is going to be loot incentive everywhere to here we go to to destroy those things yeah, yeah. for sure Set definitely this up. I need to get a bow and arrow I remember how to build them too that's what I love about this game any any survival game where you know you rip your shirt off and you you know chop a tree down and make a bow and arrow that's Pretty just good, right? ten of ten <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Let's heal it up a little bit, and then we're going to go get a bow and arrow. So there is, I like that there's body language, so you can still be friendly. Do you guys plan on adding more? We're going to add a lot more. Right now what we have is super basic, but we're going to add a ton more player interaction stuff. Um, after Early Access comes out, our main focus is making everything a lot deeper. Actually, there's when a player is early that died there. Just turn around, turn around. When, when's Early Access? Early Access, you said it. We it don't, was, we, uh, like it August, August 45th. 15th? August 45th. No. 15th? August 15th of when? 2012? <laughs> 2012. Two, okay, wow. We are in the future. It's already out. <laughs> um, there was actually uh, somebody... I want to make a bow and arrow, okay. sir. Let All me right. make All a right. bow and arrow. I'm not here to tell you what's No doing. backseat gaming from do you. Do whatever you want. You have given me two black magic jeeps that both killed me. You so do what you want. Trying to send me through some weird portal into the underworld. Can I even make it yet? No. I will figure it out, though. Discover charcoal. Okay, so let's wood plank, craft, wood stick. Do, we don't even know how to make it on this account. Oh, because it's a new character. You gotta craft the wood that, stick. That, 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 that. I got it. Then, then from the stick, you discover the stick. And then from that, you need. Oh, I don't have my T-shirt. What oh, you yeah, can yeah, do? I'm gonna take it off. But I gotta pull these down here. There you go. All right. You can actually drop drop the two wood logs because otherwise, otherwise what? It's I don't need the fall. sheet of metal. Yeah, I can do that. The scrap of cloth went on the floor because your inventory space was full. Son of a bitch! It's like that right there. It's hard to see because the snow was on it. There you go. You got it. So we take this. We take that. Bam! And now we know how to make a bow. Wooden do we know bow. how to make the arrow? You do already. Yeah. Okay. Where did that? There we go. Craft that bow. See if you can find some of these packs, oh guys, again. Oh, good. Get uh -oh. away. Get away. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh. He's wearing something different. Yeah, we've had a lot of diff different zombie wearables. And they should be wearing all types of go. different shirts. Uh, eventually, they'll be able to wear all the backpacks and hats and everything that you can wear. Nice. So Are they going to be able to actually drop that stuff, too? Yeah, so if you basically, it's going to be what you see is what you get. And so if you see a zombie wearing all that stuff, you'll be able to kill him and then take the stuff off of his corpse. Sweet. It's going to be pretty cool. All right, let's craft the shit out of these bows. I've learned in this game that you absolutely have to overcraft bows because better have them and not need them than not have them and exactly. then get wrecked by a guy with an axe. Exactly. All right, let's see if we can find some. There's, There should be... A bunch of people on the packed floor playing right now. I, I call out everybody who's playing H1Z1. Meet at right the now. water tower. I am a. 
<laughs> God among men. I have a bow and arrow. I feel like in unstoppable now. Uh oh. That looked like that was a hit. Yeah, it was because he started running after you. Oh, nice shot. Thank you, sir. So right now there's a bug with the bow with the arrows. You can't pull them out of the corpses. Oh, you can't. But you yeah. will be able to. That will definitely be a thing. If you are a good marksman, you should be able to have one bow, headshot one bow. every single zombie or player, and then just take the bow out and just it's your the special arrow? bow. It's your, I mean your arrow. It's your one arrow. And then you have a oh. special arrow. You hit him in the foot, I think. Oh, that was too high. Oh, right in the back. He's like, what? Messing with me? He's coming after I you. I still need practice. Oh, nice. Thank you, sir. Yeah, if you get pretty good with the bow, it's pretty deadly. The good thing about it, too, is it's it's pretty silent, so... Yeah, exactly. It's better than trying to shoot somebody with a pistol and you attract a bunch of zombie attention and player attention. Where's the bears at? The bears are in the woods. They're not, because last dumps. time they were here... <laughs> last time they were here, <laughs> wow. Did, so you added bear shit to the we game. We added bear dumps. You added bear shit to the game. That is you can, amazing. You can squeeze the dumps for hydration, get water. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> No, to be, awesome. to be perfectly honest, we actually have deer bladders, and you can like use deer bladder with scraps of cloth to rub deer scent on you, so you can hunt deer more easily. Really? Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. That's man. actually a real thing. Where is everybody? Alright, let's get some more arrows, because I've been jerking around too much with this practicing. There's a lot of deer. Are There's you guys going to add deer. bucks in, by the way? Yeah, bucks are, bucks are actually in on an internal build. Nice. Have bucks, doe, ravens, bunnies... Awesome. Wolves and bears. I look forward to this. Do you have server numbers yet? You guys know? Uh, that's going to be part of early access. So we'll set up a bunch of servers with different uh, server caps, and we'll see which ones end up being the most popular ones. But we can potentially have a server cap of 2,000 if we really wanted to. Realistically, though, you're, not, you're probably not 2,000 would be a little insane. 2,000 would be awesome. It would be pretty though. much deathmatch. Maybe people like that. We'll see. If you had like a version of the crown from Planet Side Two, where there was like central loot location, and you got like organic clans to just create their own, yeah, that would be amazing. Craft another bandage. You're hurting. You're hurting, man. That's why it's kind of like blurry and gray because he's um, so ch such low health right now. I, think oh, I just dropped I just it. Dropped it. Let's take this and move it over here, and then we're gonna go. I can't see it. It's right there. Oh, here it is. I'm going to get axed in the back of the head. That's what I'm waiting for. Use Let's a flare. Pull this thing out. Why not? Ooh, somebody's been building over somebody's here. Somebody's been building. Yeah, somebody knows what they're doing over here. That must have been another PAX player. Hacker. Look at this. What kind of strange deck is this? I don't know. Maybe he'll come back to his home and you can murder him. So you're basically, how do you play survival games? You, you're you basically... Terribly. You're <laughs> oh my gosh, nice. Get this backpack right here. What do you, do you mean, would, do you say, would you say you're more of a... Let's just take all the shit. Are you a guy that runs up to... Are you a guy that runs up to another person and, uh, and will try to be a friend with them initially? Or are you it just really going depends to on the game. Like okay. Arma two, there's really no incentive to be friendly. You know, Daisy standalone. There's so many options available for you to, you know, encourage creativity, encourage role play, encourage you know s the social aspect. You know, just messing with people. But it, it just depends. So like, if you really like in its current state, H one Z one. I can wave at somebody and I can shoot them in the face with an arrow and steal their stuff. Yep. That's it. If you were to add more stuff, like I can actually not only wave at them, I can, I don't know, yeah. high five them. You know what I mean? More options, more, more, more opportunities to not be kill on site. So and I'm glad you brought that up because that's exactly what we're doing. We're we're adding all kinds of different player animations. We're adding active iron side or active idle animations. So like you don't just hold your axe up all the time. You put it down by your side. Okay. And then if you want to be hostile, you can bring it up. Same with the pistols. See, the that's weapons. that's that's so key. That's what I, yeah. I really liked about because standalone right now, is the behavior, body language. You can really tell someone's intention right away because they go from, you know, hey, I'm 
holding my gun to, hey, I have my gun exactly. in your face. And it's and that's super huge. important. Right? It's so huge. Yep. Yeah. And that's why we're trying to add it. Because if somebody runs up with a pistol right now, it just looks like they're trying to kill you. Or an axe, yeah. especially, because you hold it way up here. But if somebody runs up to you and they have their pistol by their side, or it's on their back, their rifle's on their back, they're not really hostile towards you. Yeah. You know, And then if all of a sudden they bring it out, you're like, okay, well, this guy's definitely hostile. And there's like a couple of seconds where... You know, those epic moments are created because of the intensity from, I can I trust this guy? I can't trust this guy. And then, like, oh, shit, he's pulling his gun out. You know, just yeah, exactly. everything slows down. You get anxiety. Yep. And so it's awesome. Definitely coming down the line. That's part of the reason why we need uh, just a little more time before we release, release early access. So August 12th, 2011, 2011. you heard it here <laughs> first. Adam, Ad he's... You tweet him, hashtag August 2012, where's the game at? You've been <laughs> saying that since, like, when, no, when did you SOE guys Live, give us the... I gave a date at SOE Live. I said August 45th. Yeah. Um, but I guess nobody thinks that that's real. So. It, it, it's wow, a real nice thing. Shot, Thank actually. you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So it is a headshot for a zombie to kill him in one shot. So he yeah. definitely headshotted him from that. I'm telling away. you, I literally like while everybody was sleeping in Vegas, you I was playing. training <laughs> nice. by myself like an absolute tryhard. I'm like, I am gonna get, I am gonna be a master bowsman before this weekend is over. That's awesome. And yeah, it was, it was fun. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here in a little bit. We have another uh, person coming on next. Test games, uh, just in a few minutes. So. Let's, uh, any final thoughts, Rhino? Final any, thoughts. Any questions for me? I just for hope Pax? that, uh, I just hope that you guys do continue to do, like, the body language. It's a great idea. Yeah, I know you've been a big, uh, supporter of that. Definitely the first time you came out, you were telling me about all kinds of the player interactions that you want. Just and because it, when game, when games, in my opinion, my humble opinion, when games give players the opportunity to be creative, and actually do things other than murder on sight yeah, and create sure. this role play and create this story that you create. It's just a w endless wealth of entertainment for people to play and just enjoy, you know? it's So I just hope you guys stick with that. And don't I know a lot, the PvP community is like, shut up, you goddamn Care Bear. <laughs> but like, I, no, I firmly believe there should be... There's definitely validity to that because you, you don't want a game where it's just no player interaction. I mean, that totally kills simulation games, yeah. any type of sim game. You want player interaction, even if it is aggressive interaction. You want some type of interaction. You just want don't want people not communicating with each other. So we're definitely listening to that, and cool. uh, we'll definitely take care of that. Awesome. So, so we're gonna let Test Games hop on. Here's uh, let's go back to the main sh main page. So hey guys over here, uh, thanks for watching us. Thanks for watching Rhino Crunch. Make sure you follow his channel. It's uh, what is it? It's Reno Crunche. Reno Crunche. One five five nine eight slash xyz at myspace.com. That's a 